Good morning, Willard Wildcats. Happy Tuesday, March 16th. We have two birthdays to celebrate today. Happy birthday to Eric S. and Amber S. We hope you have wonderful birthdays on this IB Green Tuesday. Today, we're going to read a really cute book, Never Let a Unicorn Scribble. It's written and illustrated by Diane Alber. Never let a unicorn scribble. I wonder why. Why wouldn't you want a unicorn to scribble? What do you think? And I want you to think about the IB attitude and the learner profile characteristic that we're developing this month. We're talking about showing tolerance and acceptance, and we're also talking and learning about showing integrity, being honest. And you know, being tolerant and being accepting means that we are able to, within reason, accept the actions of others. So let's see if it's reasonable to not want a unicorn to scribble. I'm curious what your thoughts are. Never let a unicorn scribble. Hmm, I wonder why. I recently got a pet unicorn. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true, and everyone keeps telling me, never let a unicorn scribble. Huh, if you could have any kind of pet in the world, what would it be? A unicorn? I wonder. I would have dogs and I do have dogs, so I'm pretty lucky. Why would anyone say such a thing? I mean, unicorns can run on rainbows, so why can't they scribble? Hmm. I love the little thought bubbles that let us know what she's thinking. <clears throat> I thought if I gave her just one crayon, what could go wrong? Huh, whenever a question like that is asked in a book, usually something goes kind of wacky. Well, I'll tell you, she ate it. Oh no. Are unicorns supposed to eat the crayons? Mm -mm. Now, my favorite bright pink crayon was traveling to the belly of my unicorn. This is probably why people are saying unicorns should never scribble because they eat crayons. <laughs> hmm. Now that's not something we want to tolerate, right? We want to teach the unicorn to not eat the crayons, don't we? See, there's a line there because it's just not healthy. Then it occurred to me, maybe unicorns don't know how to use crayons. So I gathered all my crayons and started to scribble. Bless you, Daisy. So it's really important that we model for the unicorn. We show the unicorn how to start a, how to start a drawing. I made a blue scribble, a pink scribble, a yellow scribble, and a, even a crazy scribble. Now that she could see how crayons worked, I thought I would give her another chance to scribble. I took out a teal crayon and placed it right in front of her. Hmm wonder if that works. And she ate half of it. That, now that, that's not what the unicorn is supposed to do, is it? No. Listen to me, unicorn. We do not eat crayons. We draw with them. But then I realized a unicorn couldn't hold a crayon like I could. Maybe that was why she was eating them. I had an idea. What do you think the idea is gonna be? How do you think that she will solve this problem? Maybe if I tried a few tied a few crayons to her horn, that would help her scribble. Within seconds, glitter scribbles started shooting out like water from a fire hose. What a great idea, huh? Sparkling rainbow scribbles were everywhere. They were on the floor, on the ceiling, on the walls. They were even on my lamp. I've been begging my mom to redecorate my room for a while now, but I don't think this is what she had in mind. Then I heard a noise down the hall. This was it. I was going to be in so much trouble. I popped out of my room and blocked the door. Before my mom could say anything, I started to explain the mess she was about to see. Well, it all started when I heard to never let a unicorn scribble, but I had to find out why. So I gave my unicorn a crayon and then she ate it. Then I tried to teach her to scribble, but then she ate another crayon. 
So I tied the crayons to a horn and boy was that horn magical. The scribbles started shooting out like water, like a water fountain and they were so sparkly, but it made such a mess and I'm sorry. She's acting with integrity, isn't she? She's telling us the truth. She's being very honest. My mom peeked around the corner and smiled. You didn't make a mess. You made a glowing masterpiece. When I turned around, all the scribbles were right on the easel, not on my ceiling, not on my walls, not on my lamp. They were all on one piece of paper and it was the most amazing art ever. All this time, people wanted to stop unicorns from scribbling. It could be because they eat crayons or because it's so messy. But if my unicorn had never scribbled, she would never have learned how to make this masterpiece. So the next time you hear a unicorn shouldn't scribble, just remember, all great art starts with a scribble. And even unicorns have to start somewhere. I hope you all remember that lesson too. So the next time you begin art, you remember it just starts with one touch of the pencil, crayon, colored pencil. It just starts with one step. The end. Wildcats, remember we are safe, respectful, and responsible. Have a wonderful day and I will see you on Wednesday.